Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. So today I received a package from Nail Reserve LA and they gave me this box with this confetti inside. So we have a couple gel polishes in here. This first color is called Zodiac. It looks like it's some type of purpley pink. I'm gonna open it. Oh, it's like a nice highlighter pink. We have this white color called White Addict. It looks like we have this glittery gel polish called Kiss Me Now. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at that. It looks like it's like a reflective type of glitter. We have another glitter gel polish. It's called Dare to Shine. This one's also really nice too. I love that. Then we have another pink color called Quartz Rose. It's like a nice light pink. Then we have this like green color, it's called Acid Green. I'm wondering if it's gonna be like a bright neon green. And it is, this is a beautiful green. All right, so we have all our gel polishes. Let's go ahead and get started on our nails. I'm gonna start on some nail prep. I'm just gonna remove the shine from my nails. I currently have cuticle oil all over my nails. I'm gonna apply a top coat just to create a peel off base coat. to size on my nail tips. Now I'm just going to trim my nails and shape them. So here's everything we'll need for today's nail set. We're going to need this clear white, milky white type of poly gel. We're also gonna need clear poly gel. We're gonna be using some builder gel as well as some silver rhinestones. We're going to need some dip powder because we are gonna do some 3D art. As far as the gel polishes, we are definitely gonna need the white. I'm just kind of stuck on which glitter I want to use. Before we begin anything, I do wanna start on the cracked ice. I was supposed to leave this alone like i shouldn't have gone over it um because we do need it to be clear underneath hopefully this doesn't interrupt how the nail will look so for the cracked eyes i'm gonna take some builder gel and i'm gonna paint underneath both of the fingers and then we're gonna add some cling wrap on top of it Now I'm going to take some cling wrap and I'm going to stick it on. You don't need this much. I don't know why I used this much. Then I'm going to take my dotting tool and I'm going to press into it. Now I'm going to do that same thing on this finger. That 
looks pretty cool. Now I'm gonna add my base gel and I'm gonna apply that on all of my nails. I'm gonna cure it in the lamp for about 30 seconds. I'm really concerned about how this is gonna look once I add top coat. So it still looks fine. Let's get started on the application. I'm going to start with my thumbnail and I'm going to take this white poly gel. Thumb is going to be a completely full solid color, so I'm not going to do anything different. I keep adding clear poly gel to this because I tried to make this thin so that it was translucent, translucent looking. So I'm going to add some clear poly gel to build an apex. I feel like the clear made it look better. I'm gonna move over to my pointer finger. For the pointer finger, we are doing a clear French tip. So I'm taking that white poly gel and I'm making that almond shape there. And then after that, I am going to add clear poly gel to fill in the gaps.
So before we add the clear poly gel to make the French tip, we do have to file the area that we made that foundation just to give it that structure. And then I'm going to fill in with some clear poly gel. I hope everyone is enjoying the holidays this Christmas and I hope everyone got wonderful gifts and gave gifts as well. I'm not really doing much for Christmas. I am making some gingerbread cookies and I'm deciding if I want to make a red velvet cake or just make red velvet cake pops. I also had eggnog for the first time like a couple weeks ago and it tastes like a vanilla milkshake to me. It is pretty good though and I understand the hype around it. I'm gonna be really honest this part was so hard I struggled so bad like clear poly gel is really really hard to work with because you honestly can't even really see like your shape and how you're shaping everything I struggled so bad I originally wanted to put an entire bead on the entire nail just so I can have my shape right after I'm done with this I'm going to begin filing Now I'm going to take that white gel polish from Nail Reserve and I'm going to start the French tip. I'm going to do it on my thumbnail, pinky nail, and the middle finger.
So I actually messed up on my thumbnail and I never you typically show you guys my thumbnail because it's usually my like experimental finger. But yeah, like I was supposed to apply top coat before I added the 3D art, but I ended up putting the 3D art first before I added top coat. So I had to redo the whole thing all over again. Like I did it completely backwards. Moving on to the pointy finger, I am starting the snowflake gel art and applying those dots and making a cross and connecting the dots after. So I'm gonna attempt to do this again. I'm applying top coat on that finger. I'm gonna cure it in the lamp. And then after that, I am going to add the 3D gel art. I ended up applying top coat on my pointer finger as well. I was just thinking that I might as well just finish whatever is done. Then I'm gonna take the Kiss Me Now glitter gel and I'm gonna make a snowflake on my index finger. Attempting to do the 3D art again, I'm taking my dotting tool and I'm placing two dots and then I'm going to use my liner brush to make a heart and I'm going to make three hearts down the middle.
after I'm done with that, I'm going to take some clear dip powder and I'm going to cover all of the gel art and then I'm going to cure it in the lamp. I was actually pretty happy with how the middle finger came out. It was really cute and I would honestly like this if all the fingers looked like that. Like this is such a cute design. So here are how the nails turned out. These came out a lot better than I expected. I definitely would have loved to have like a charm on the middle finger, but nonetheless, it still looks great. I have everything linked in the description box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and happy holidays to everyone. Mm -hmm.